All the code we're going to look at today is going to be part of a class. What you have to understand is that a class isn't an object. It's a blueprint or a recipe to create an object. So in this case, it's telling the computer everything it has to know about what a biscuit is and how to create a biscuit. It's not an actual biscuit. The thing we generally put first in a class is its instance variables. So these are the information that each biscuit will need to know about itself. Each biscuit will need to know its own weight, which will be stored as an integer, a whole number, and also its flavor, which will be held as a string, which is a word, a string of characters. These instance variables are generally private because only a biscuit can know its own weight and flavor. You don't want anyone to just be able to reach in and change that. It would be violating the privacy of that biscuit. If you notice, the weight and the flavor of the biscuit aren't given a value. Because how could you know what the weight of every biscuit is and what the flavor of every biscuit is? It's not possible. You might notice that the instance variables look a lot like creating object references. And that's exactly what they are. They're simply creating a space to save that information. They're not putting information in it yet. So they are creating a reference or a pointer or you can also think of it as a signpost to where the information will be. So to make a reference, you have to write the type of thing that will be stored in that space, and then the space, and the name of how, how you want to be able to call that space, so the name you're giving to that piece of information. The next thing we put is the constructor. So this is telling the computer how to create a biscuit when it's asked to create a biscuit. So a constructor generally assigns values to the instance variables. So you can see that it says simply public biscuit, which is rather unusual because most methods will have to put what they return between public and, bi and the name of the method, which in this case would be biscuit. But because it's a constructor, you don't have to do that. It's what one of the things that makes a constructor special. And then inside the brackets, you can see the parameters of this constructor. Those are references or pointers to information that you will need to create this object or this biscuit. So you can't just create a biscuit without really knowing what's inside. Oh, well, you could, but it wouldn't be very useful. It would be much more useful if you get told which size you want the biscuit and what taste you want it to have. So you have an integer size and a string taste that will come in the brackets. You might notice that th you can't see what the value of those are, but don't worry about that right now. They will come with a value. They already have a value at this point when in the code. When the computer is asked to create a biscuit, it will know what size and taste is. You can see it a bit like a variable in math. X is a number, you just don't know what it is yet, and you can still work with it. So then what you do is this dot weight equals size, and this dot flavor equals taste. A lot of things are happening here. This dot means that we're talking about the instance variable of the biscuit, so the weight of this particular biscuit. It's not completely necessary, but it's good practice, and it can prevent things from going wrong later on. And so you say weight, this dot weight equals size, so you're saving whatever the number that is in size in the space called weight, and then you're doing the same thing for taste. So here you're using only the references without writing this dot weight equals int size. So that means that you're using the information that is in the space called size. If you were to write this dot weight equals int size, you would be creating a new integer called size, which wouldn't have a value that you can actually use for a start. And secondly, Java wouldn't let you do that because then you would have two integers called size, and that's illegal. Then you have the accessors. You have public int get weight, public string get flavor, and then the slightly less standard accessor, public boolean is crunchy. The accessors are used to access the value of the instance variable from outside your class. 
So if you remember earlier, we've made the weight and the flavor of our biscuit private, which means that anything that isn't a biscuit can't know what the value of weight and flavor are, which is useful for security reasons, but you probably will need that information from somewhere else. So in that case, we make the accessor methods. So here, public int get weight. Int means that the return the method will return an integer and if you notice this method has nothing in the brackets because it doesn't need any extra information to do its job and then what it simply does is return the value of the instance variable weight so whatever the weight of the specific biscuit you ask to do get weight it will return that value this is quite useful because you can get the value and then use it but you can't modify it with the accessors, so it's more secure. The accessor get flavor does the exact same thing, except it returns the string flavor. So if you notice, it's called public string get flavor because it returns a string type object. Public boolean is crunchy is also an accessor. This one returns a boolean, which is a true or false value, and it's a little bit less straightforward. This one says if flavor dot equals chocolate return true else return false so whoever made this biscuit decided that only chocolate biscuits are crunchy so what's happening in the if statement here is flavor which is a reference that points to the space where whatever the word that is stored in flavor is and then dot equals which is what you use instead of equals equals to compare string to each other. And then inside the brackets of dot equals is another string, which you're asking to see if it is the same as the value of flavor. When you have a word between the double quotation marks, it means that this is a string. So you don't have to create a new string to put in there. It's creating the string itself. And lastly, classes often have mutators which are generally used to change the value of the instance variables. So it's very nice to have a biscuit, but what if you're eating it? So for that we have the method public void take byte. Void means that the method returns nothing. You don't need to receive any information when you take a byte of a biscuit. You simply need to make the biscuit smaller. What you do need though to take a byte is to know how much of the biscuit you're taking off. So public void take byte has a parameter which is inside the brackets. So when the method take byte is called, it will be given a number which for now has an unknown value and we'll call that number bytes. So what the method does is set the instance variable of the biscuit this dot weight to its old value, this dot weight, minus the value of bytes, which is the parameter the method re receives. 